Hey, this is Justin from Gold Penguin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to implement the Bunny.net CDN into your Breakdance Builder website. So a CDN stands for a Content Delivery Network, which basically means the images and files that you have on your website are going to be stored across different locations across the globe or across the country, wherever you decide to enable this. So if you have someone visiting your website from, let's say, Germany, they're not going to be pulling files from your uh, server in New York. And so the way it works is... Bunny.net has different uh, zones across the world, and you can decide which to enable, which to disable. So to start off, we're going to go to Bunny.net. This is a paid service, but it is extremely cheap. I pay about two cents a month to run this on about four websites right now. Once you're here, add a pull zone to your website, and we're going to call this Break Old because we're going to use this for breakdance. Keep it as a URL, and for your uh, origin URL, you're going to put in breakdance, oops, I'm sorry, breakgold.local, whatever your URL is going to be. I'm hosting this locally, so the CDN actually isn't going to work, which will show that it will work when it's up. So as you can see, if you refresh right here, the website is working properly because all the images are local. Uh, keep it at the standard tier, and you will be able to select pricing zones for wherever you want to have your content pulled from. If you're only hosting a website in North America, you will disable the rest of these. If your website is aimed at uh, hitting traffic globally, then it would make sense to keep these all on. So I'm going to turn these all off right now and just have North America. Add your pull zone, and it's pretty easy from here. So once you get here, um, the zone is created and you're going to click on WordPress and copy the pull zone name, which is actually going to be the same thing as what you called it earlier. Head back into WordPress and install the bunny.net plugin. You'll find that in the WordPress plugin gallery. If you type in bunny, it's a nice little bunny WordPress CDN. There's other CDNs uh, that all pretty much work the same. I've just used bunny for couple years now and it's been pretty great. So once you install it, go to Bunny, add your pull zone name, which is going to be what we just copied from before, and simply enable it. And just like that, you enabled your CDN on your website. You could view some more advanced settings and exclude some files if you don't want any PHP links uh, or, or any kind of types of files to be included in your CDN. Um, add your site URL here, and then the CDN domain name, this should be set automatically. Um, I would not not change that, but typically it's going to be the name .b-cdn.net. And then, yeah, another thing I'd recommend is turning this off for admin users because uh, you don't really want to be pulling. Uh, speed is not really important to someone like a user, like milliseconds of speed. It's really only going to be useful for people that are visiting your website. So you don't really need to use your bandwidth as an admin, so I would check that on. Um, and so the way to test if this is working now, navigate back to your website. And when I refresh this page, all these images actually shouldn't work because this website is not stored online anywhere. Perfect. Um, so the website's not going to be working, but that shows that it is working generally. So let's right click and inspect on any one of these pictures. And you'll see that the URL for the source of the file was actually break gold, which is the website dot b cdn dot net. So it goes through your website and replaces everything um, with the contents of the content delivery network, and that's how you know it's going to be working. And so that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, this will work on any live website. So yeah, this should also reset it back here because the CDN is now not going to be turned on for anyone that's logged in. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.